Good morning to our St. Henry's family. I thought that a video message might be more appropriate than a circular today. And I, I really wanted to connect with you to say that our online program started this morning. And by all accounts, I've chatted with some of the teachers. It seems to have started off uh, really well. I was also able to have a chat with the grade 12 this morning. My intention there was to reassure them that we're doing everything in our power to make sure that the start of the year for them is good and solid and that we are there to support them in as much as we can during the course of this year. You might have seen that independent schools uh, have received permission from the government to open earlier than the, the 15th of February. That information was released uh, on Friday last week. So I also wanted to reassure our parents and the St. Henry's family that we're certainly taking that into consideration. We realize the importance of getting back into school as quickly as possible, but we also need to balance that against the health and safety of all who come onto campus, as well as parents. So we're gonna take that uh, into consideration and we're gonna be planning uh, carefully around that. One of our considerations and part of our planning definitely is that we are likely to continue an online option for at least the first term, but I'll be communicating that in due course. But we do need to plan for getting back to school because it's where it best takes place. I was reminded of this a few days ago when I watched a video released by Graham Codrington entitled A Message for Teachers at the Start of 2021. Codrington is an author, a strategy consultant and a futurist. In his message to teachers he quoted from the psychologist B.F. Skinner who stated that education is what survives when what has been learnt has been forgotten. So this is what we are striving to do. We speak about an all-rounded education, and when we do so, we don't just pay lip service to it. We really seek to go beyond just the facts and the figures and the content and to offer a well-rounded and balanced education. This is actually moral schooling across the world. Although Codrington's message is directed at teachers, I believe it's important for parents to hear it as well, as there's some really great advice and input. And so tomorrow we will uh, advertise the link to that talk on our Facebook page, and I would really encourage parents uh, to go listen to his 10-minute video. So for now, we continue online with what we are confident is a strong and solid teaching and learning program, and I'll communicate future plans in due course. Best regards for the week ahead.